a breast enlargement. I've wanted this for like, I'm 28 now, and I've wanted it probably since I was 18. It's always just been like a hang up of mine. I think I'm an A cup, so I'm really small. Um, and also like, like a, a big B, yeah, just something that's, Handful. well that's in proportion with my body I suppose, it's not something that I've just thought over the last couple of years or you know, oh I, oh, I want a boob job, I'm just going to get a boob job, it's literally, it's, it's always been on my mind so, and now I think it's a time in my life that I can get it done, so it's exciting for me, like I, I'm just, I'm so excited to just be able to in just wear whatever the hell I want. So, yeah. Hey, I don't mind. I get some new toys. <laughs> I know. It's more fun to the point. Never hurt. I think you don't care, but. <laughs> Basically, as a company, we've been around now for over 40 years. So, so this is what your breast tissue looks like, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, the surgeon will make a small incision here under the fold of your breast. Mm -hmm. Now, these are what the implants look like. So this is a 310, okay? So it's made from a cohesive silicon gel. Yeah. So it's like a jelly bean inside. Whoa. So yeah. it's still quite squishy though. Yeah, it's still quite squishy. How big is that cup size? It's not. It's not a cup size. Oh, okay. Okay, because what oh. you've got to remember, it's the implant plus what the patient has that gives you your oh, cup size. So they're yeah. measured in cc. So that's 310 cc. Right. Okay. So if you put that in five different patients, they'd all be different yeah. sizes okay, because it's the you. implant plus the patient gives okay, the cup size. Right. Yeah. Put it on. Have a feel. Ooh. <laughs> Do like it. <laughs> Do like it. You're going to be like, what the hell? Um, it's all really random. Well, actually, I don't know if you're going to answer it. If I didn't like the results, what would happen? So, well basically, when you have your surgeon's consultation, he will go through exactly with you what the outcome of the surgery is going to be, so what okay. you'll look like. Yeah. He will write that down in his notes and you will sign those notes to okay. say that you understand. So, if then after the surgery, mm -hmm. you said, well actually the outcome isn't what you told me it was going to be, we have that yeah. in black and white. Yeah. So, but the surgeon so will make it. sure yeah. that you understand exactly yeah. what the outcome is going to be, so that yeah. shouldn't really arise. Yeah. Great, Excellent. that's great. Thank you thank so okay. much. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your yeah. evening. How are you feeling then? All right. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm all right after that one, but after the next one, like the surgeon one, I'll probably be a bit like uh, uh, just for myself, no one else, nothing else, just for me. So. Okay. We have arrived. We have arrived at that destination. Transform. Yeah. So I see the surgeon today, so I get to try like the cups and um, the silicones in like a bra to see what size I would prefer, um, which would be interesting. Hope they have small ones. <laughs> 
Yeah. Do I get to feed them as well? Oh, yeah. Sure. Heck. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. I'm really joking. Yeah. Excited? Yeah. Yeah? Well, yeah, but yeah. I don't really know what to expect. No. So I'm just a bit intrigued, but. Right, yeah. let's go. What's that, Lisa? The implants come in four projections. Their lower projection uh, is quite flat and wide, and then there's the moderate, and then there's the full and the extra full. And the difference between them is this. Um, here it is a 340 gram extra full projection implant. And here it is a 345 gram full projection. Oh, what's the difference? So the difference is that the full projection is flatter and wider. Okay. So it, the extra full sticks on like this. Okay. So here it is a 295 full projection implant. So put it inside the bra with this against the neck. Good size. Yeah. Put these up with that vest on. Uh, she looks really real on that broad, doesn't it? <laughs> Is that how you want them? Go for the one up on that one. Leave it there. So I don't have a full profile. This is the extra full 310 grams. So put it on the other side. So so strange seeing you with boobs. <laughs> Press down a little bit here about this. Well, so what's the, the difference between those two then? Uh, it's in size. The first one is 295 grams, and yep. the second one is 310 grams. And also the projection of the one on that side, the new one I'm giving you, is the extra eyes, which comes out big. Sticks out. Sticks so, out. Yeah, sounds like... So that one there just hangs a bit more then. So it hangs a bit more, right? It's a bit flatter. It's a bit flatter. That's what I don't like to show you. <coughs> The difference between the different projections. The full projection is flatter and wider. The extra full is narrower and projects further out. Right. Yeah, yeah I get that, but then I mean. But you wouldn't know what this one is next size up. Like yeah. Uh, the next size we've got is 345. Just give it a go. So take the uh, take the three ten out. Uh. That one looks massive, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Well, I don't know how it looks. So there's a size in between these two. There's two sizes. Yeah, that's the big one. Yeah, but what I mean is, there's there's two sizes in between from this to this. Yes, yes. Oh, right, two sizes. Yeah. Trying, I don't know. You feel? These are the sizes, have a look. So these are the full profile implants. Okay. So you try the 295, you've got that in, in on the right side now. And on the other side you've got the 345. And between this 325 and 335. Okay. Which unfortunately we haven't got here at all. What do you think of the 345 though? 
one. Yeah, the, yeah, that one's the two ninety five. This one. Um. Do you think the fruit water wine is too big? I don't think so. No, I don't think it's too. So, so there's no need to try that in between. The thing is, is that like you're tall as well, and you're quite broad. So like, if you were quite small, if you were short, maybe that would look big. Yeah. But it doesn't look big on you. Yeah. I think that's a good size. <laughs> Feels a bit yeah, different. So there's no point in trying the in between. You said you don't need the three quarter size to be. You don't need to be for the three quarter size to be, but you try the in between. Yeah, no, I wasn't too sure when I just asked that question. No. So take the small one out. Try this, which is the next one up from the three quarter five. Four, three, sixty-five. So I'm guessing that that is. Very accurate as to how it's going to look in the top, right? Size exactly it is. is more yeah, size, size, size exactly. The bigger you go, the more round it looks, the more false it looks. Yeah, um, that's what I was going to ask, because obviously, like, well, I am athletic, and I am naturally very lean, so yeah. I'm, I'm lean quite a lot of the time. Um, I can see that. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's why I tell you, that's why I said to you, that you can't hide. If you have, if you have a lot of breast tissue, a lot of breast tissue, a lot of padding on top of the implant, it hides the shape of the implant. If you haven't got much, like you haven't got much, then it doesn't hide the shape of the implant. So the, it, it looks more implant-like, more false. And the bigger you go, the more of that effect you're going to get. So there's no way of me getting away from looking mm, like... No, I'm, no, there isn't. Because we're relying on you having something to so hide lean. the implant behind. If you haven't got that much to hide the implant behind, what can we do? Yeah. It does, the, it, putting the implant behind the muscle doesn't solve the problem, like I said, uh, because you still, the shape of the implant will show because the muscle is not this thick, the muscle is only this thick. And I don't think it's a good idea in your case to cut your muscle because of your fitness and your bodybuilding. See? That does worry me if you can just see, like, I don't think it's going to be that obvious. Obviously, I'm really lean at the minute, obviously, because I'm... It's not going to be sure. that, that lean again, yes. but there's nothing you can really do about it. That's obviously, what he's saying is just because of your lean, you haven't got any, you haven't got any breast tissue. It's just it's, it's one of those things. But it ain't going to look that bad, and I don't think you're going to see it here. I don't think you're going to see it there, because, look, it's in the top now. And you can't see, you can't see anything here now. Obviously, it's not in your skin, but you're not going to be wearing many tops lower than that, are you? Unless you're wearing a bikini. Mm. So I think that's good. The bigger you go, the more it shows, Lisa. Yeah. So would you consider this one here then to be big? The three six five. Uh, in terms of what? Um, in terms of like the bigger you go, the worse it's going to look. Yeah, would you? Right. So the, is, is that big? Well, as you go bigger and bigger, it shows more and more and more. Yeah. Yes. Is so that what show? There is no kind of, they all show, the bigger ones show more, the smaller ones show less, but they all show. And the is there a big difference more. between how that one there well, is going to look? Between. That is a subjective thing, isn't it? For the person to say, oh, I can see a big difference, somebody else may not. What's, so tears, What's, what's the difference between TSF and TRF? Well, the projection is the same, F, full projection. The oh. difference is the type of gel responsive and oh, soft touch. Right. But it doesn't matter because they're all, all the sizes and all the projections are available in both um, types of gel responsive. So here is just the size that we are interested in. So here, we don't enlarge your cup size, we enlarge your breast size. Yeah, yeah. So you can yeah. choose what breast size you like and then the cup size comes with it. Just push your hand down here like this. So which one are you swaying towards? Well, like I said, the smaller one looks bigger. Maybe it's got one bigger. Oh, your left is a bit bigger than your right. Yeah, that's why, yeah, that's, that's why. why, yeah. It's always gonna be that way, isn't it? You can't like take a bit out of what she's already got to even them out. Cool. So this is 
Yes, I know that looks, yeah, this is bigger. This one. Yeah, it's just my baby there. This is bigger. Um, you're only be slightly bigger, just because I'm slightly yeah. bigger now. But you yeah, can't the, tell. The thing is that the differences between them uh, is not just the difference in size. The measurements tell me that the left breast is lower. It is lower. Yeah. It is lower. Nipple, I measured the nipple at least a centimeter below on the left compared to the right. Okay. Also, the left fold where I drew the lines on your skin, the left fold is lower than the right. So it's going to sit a bit lower the left implant. So those differences cannot be correct for the different size implants inside. Go with the same one then, innit? And just. Yeah. It's a safer okay. bet to go with the same one, yeah. Like, small now. You can really see it, but when they're when you have boobs and you're not gonna be able to tell that one's bigger than the other. Which one do you like in? About the same, aren't it really? So I've just got back from having my pre-op um, with the nurse. So um, my operation is booked in, I, I booked it in August and I've booked it for the 17th of December. Um, the reason why I booked so like long away is because obviously I've had my competitions so I didn't have the chance to have it done before also over christmas you tend to rest so i just thought it was like a really the perfect time to um have it done and i don't go out on christmas eve or anything so i it's just the perfect time for me because i will literally be chilling out i tend to not worry about the gym and stuff either um and you know the way i'm eating so i just think it's just a good time for me um so i've written down um like some of the things that we went through in my pre-op because i think it will help some of you if you're looking to have it done um so what happened is um so i had my height and my weight taken um and i also had my blood pressure taken um she also took before pictures and after uh, obviously not after pictures so i haven't had it done yet um she took before pictures um so obviously you do have to take your top off but you get a new boobies soon so it's fine um so yeah, she took before pictures which i'm really intrigued to see them with the after ones i hope I hope they give me them because I'd really like I'd really like them. I, di I didn't actually ask as I, I didn't think of it at the time, but I literally just thought of that now. So that would be interesting to see what that looks like. Um, then she uh, she obviously just, um, spoke through everything. Um, she went through a, a massive list of questions, just all health questions. And then she she gave me loads of paperwork to take home so I could read through things um there's certain things that I can't do before the operation um she advised that having like the triangle pillow where you sit up in the big triangle pillows um she advised one of those um she advised what sports bra I'll need um which I have actually got um I've got a Macom bra it's called um because I've read about them and I've read that like they're one of the best ones so I that's the one I got but whichever surgery um like company you do go with they will probably advise one because I can't get out wait a sec Jeez, um yeah so Macom as you can see there um, yeah, they'll probably advise them because they did have their um, one that they advised. But as I say, I've just read about that one. So that's the one I got. Um, and you need to get it so it fits. So you need 
the way you work it out how to fit you because obviously you don't have the boob yet you need to make sure it fits around your um, back so I'm a 32 so I got a 32 and then basically the bra will mould um, to the new boobies <laughs> so yeah that's how it works um, so yeah she gave me loads of information to take home um, so I can't have any vitamins or anti-inflammatory drugs two weeks before surgery um, I can't drink alcohol or eat garlic 48 hours before um, can't wear makeup jewelry hair extensions or nail varnish um, or any piercings obviously in surgery and that is one thing when I had keyhole surgery last year I forgot to take my nipple bar out <laughs> I took everything else out but I forgot to take my nipple bar out so I must remember to take that one out this time um, six hours prior to the um, surgery I can't have any food or drink um, except um, water but two hours prior I can't have water so that's that's something that you need to make sure obviously you do um, then she said that I'll probably be out in the same day and it only takes how long did she say it took it's like an hour and 45 minutes or something like that I'm sure she said that's how long it took um, she said just to bring um, an overnight bag though just in case so I'll, I'll bring that um, and obviously um, sports bra and everything um, then she just obviously took down my point of contact and who's my next of kin etc um, so obviously I've already chosen my size um, so I've gone for just in case I haven't mentioned it here, where is it here I've gone for 365 and um, that's the implant size and I think that's I can't remember the profile that's annoying I can't remember the profile but I can't remember sorry guys <coughs> I'll um I'll get that information I'll put it in I'll, just along <laughs> along the way um so i just need to pay my remaining balance um and then i need to pay that 21 days prior to the operation so i think that's like um uh, by the 21st of november um and i have gone for the warranty i think it's 200 and 200 and something pound it wasn't expensive to go for the the warranty for 10 years so obviously i'm going to do that um so yeah that is what happened in my um in my pre-op so yeah just gonna count down the days <laughs> um yeah i'm not really nervous I'm more, I'm very excited, I'm very excited, um, but I'm intrigued, I want to know what it's like to have boobies, <laughs> um, but I'm going to show you now what I look like with the Macon bra on because I just really want you to understand how flat chested, I hate that word, those two words, but I just want you to understand how much I don't have because you just might get a little bit of understanding as to why I want this done. Obviously, this is a 10 year decision or 11 years decision. It's not something that's happened overnight and it's just now I've got the money to do it. And I am 28, so <laughs> I'm obviously like past the developing stage. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna show you now. <clears throat> okay, so, oh, let me stand in front of the wine bit. Yeah, <clears throat> you can literally see, like, I am very freaking small. There's, it looks like there's nothing there. Look. And then, <sighs> can you see? <clears throat> so, yeah, like, obviously, I don't have anything, like, and I don't want massive, massive boobs. 
there's nothing wrong with massive boobs but personally for me I just want a little bit more um well a lot more than what I've got but just enough I don't want big boobs and um yeah like I say each to their own and some people want big boobs and they want them to look really fake that's cool because that's that's their own per personal preference but my personal preference is I just want them to look as natural as possible and to and to have them so they're in proportion with my body um so yeah so the next time you'll see me now is uh the morning of the surgery <clears throat> okay so while we was in LA I had um well first of all a phone call but I couldn't answer it because I was in LA um I had an email <clears throat> to tell me that um my surgeon has been taken ill and he's not going to be um practicing for the foreseeable future so obviously I was just like what the hell <laughs> because this surgeon is like one of the top surgeons in the UK um, hence why I chose him so they put another surgeon in place for me um, so obviously I did my research on him and I couldn't find any reviews at all the only reviews I could find were how bad his attitude was and so obviously that put me off a lot um, so I ended up having to do my own research um, within the same company but I just looked in a different area of the country um, which took me to Manchester which is three hours away from where I live um, a surgeon called Dr Clark whose name kept popping up really really good reviews so um, I asked my um, coordinator if I could book in with him um, and luckily he had the 30th of December so that is when I'm booked in for now um, so it's a couple of weeks later but to be honest with you it's at first I was like oh for god's sake you know it's changed but it's actually worked out for the best because I've got so much work to do on my guide I need to get all my um, videos done and stuff like that so it's actually worked out for the best um, it's a bit annoying but I've found another surgeon and I'm really happy um <clears throat> I've been for a consultation as well with him that was booked in so I've seen him for a consultation <coughs> and um we've decided to go for a different shape implant and for a different size um which is really strange because the surgeon before said that um I should go for the wider one but where I'm well where I've literally got nothing <laughs> and I'm tall and I'm slim, I'm really narrow. Um, so the new surgeon said it would make more sense and he'd be more happier to put in the narrower implant because it would probably fit better in my like petite frame. Um, so yeah, that was a bit confusing. I was a bit like, what? But I trust him so, and it does make more sense. And the more I looked at myself, in pictures and stuff and the more I looked at the implant that I'm going to have it just it just does make sense so I've chosen to have um well I haven't actually chosen my size yet I'm in between two sizes um 310 and 340 on the day um I'm going to have another look and just double check um I mean I've I've put 310 down but I am just going to double check on the day that that's exactly what I want because in between sizes there's only like half a diameter it's literally minuscule there's not really much difference so I've put down 310 but I've put down that I'm just going to double check on the day so I've gone for 310 TSX extra full profile because that is what he advised so um, that's what I've gone for so on the day <coughs> I'll see obviously exactly what I pick um, but yeah, so, but obviously the consultation with the first surgeon is still really, really good for you to see because it was pretty much what happened in the second consultation, apart from it was a bit, it was a bit shorter because I'd already been to the first one. Um, so yeah, so it's still good for you to see that um, because that is actually what happens in the consultation. So yeah, um, 
the next time you'll see me is hopefully well the next time you'll see me is after my operation <laughs>